हेलो दोस्तों स्वागत है आप सभी का वाई वाई एस में वेलकम टू द डेली एमसीक्यू डिस्कशन आज ये सेवेंटी ऑफ मई 2021 और अब हम डिस्कस करने वाले हैं आज के पांच एमसीक्यूज बेस्ड ऑन द करेंट अफेयर्स ठीक है तो बिफोर बिगिन आई वुड लाइक टू इन्फॉर्म यू अबाउट द इनिशिएटिव दैट वाई एस हैज लॉन्च वाह वाई एस हैज लॉन्च विजन फिल्म टेस्ट सीरीज समरी एंड विजन पी टी थ्री समरी जो आपके रिविजन में बहुत हेल्प करने वाले हैं तो अगर आपको इन समरी इमेज फॉर्मेट में चाहिए तो डू ज्वाइन ऑफ टेलीग्राम ग्रुप डिटेल्स हैव गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन अगर आपको इन समरीज पीडीएफ फॉर्मेट में चाहिए तो डू देन डू सब्सक्राइब टू द कोर्स डिटेल्स हैव गिवन हियर यू कैन आल्सो फाइंड द डिटेल्स इन द टेलीग्राम चैनल एज वेल ठीक है तो चलिए अब शुरू करते हैं फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू लॉर्ड बसवेस फॉर फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट बसवास लिंगा थियोलॉजी वॉज ए फॉर्म ऑफ क्वालिफाइड ड्यूलिज्म सेकेंड वन He established the Anubhav Mandapa, which is a forum to discuss the prevailing problems, which welcomed only men from all socio-economic backgrounds. So here we have to choose the correct answer: A, one only; B, two only; C, both one and two; D, neither one nor two. So recently, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has brought to Jagat Guru Baswajpara on the Baswaj Jayanti, and this was the news. So this is why we have asked this question. और आजकल यूपीएससी में भी हम देख रहे हैं कि द नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन ऑन दीज एंशियंट फिलोसफर्स इज इंक्रीजिंग तो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू नो अबाउट लॉर्ड बसवेश्वर ठीक है तो अगर अगर हम पहले स्टेटमेंट को देखा तो इट से बसवास लिंगा थियोलॉजी वॉज फॉर्म ऑफ क्वालिफाइड ड्यूरिज्म सो इफ इसी बसवास थियोलॉजी इट टॉक्स अबाउट द क्वालिफाइड नॉन ड्यूलिज्म नॉन ड्यूलिज्म यानी वॉट इट सेस इज इट से दैट द इंडिविजुअल A soul, the Atma, which is is nothing but the body of God, and there is no difference between Shiva and Atma. No difference between Shiva and Atma. That means there is no difference between God and the body. Okay, so it talks about a monism, non-qualified dualism, or you can say qualified non-dualism. Okay. तो इसीलिए फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग सेकंड स्टेटमेंट सेज दैट ही एस्टैब्लिश अनुभव मंडपा फोरम टू डिस्कस द प्रीवेलिंग प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच वेलकम टू ओनली मेन फ्रॉम ऑल सोशल इकोनॉमिक प्रॉब्लम्स सो इफ यू सी दिस स्टेटमेंट व्हिच इज अबाउट द अनुभव मंडपा अनुभव मंडपा वाज एस्टैब्लिश्ड एज अ फोरम टू डिस्कस प्रीवेलिंग प्रॉब्लम्स दिस इज राइट बट हियर द स्टेटमेंट सेज दैट इट वेलकम ओनली मेन दिस इज रॉन्ग बिकॉज़ बसवा इज अ ग्रेट फिलोसोफर He did not show any difference between men and women. He he was he was for the equal treatment of men and women, and uh, this statement becomes wrong. So D neither one nor two is the correct answer because this forum is for both men and women. Okay. Now we will see some more information about Basveshwara. The Basveshwara is the founder of Lingayat sect. Is the founder of Lingayat sect, and his spiritual discipline was based on some principles. so these terms are important for us yeah uh, yeah hum yaad karna in terms ko arivu arivu means true knowledge achara right conduct and anubhava divine experience so in teenon principles bahut important hai hamare liye so yaad karna is very important and it brought socio social religious and economic revolution in the 12th century and basveshwara he was present in karnataka during the rule of culture king bijjala he appointed basveshwara as karnika that is accountant in the initial stage later basveshwara was made as the prime minister also okay so his practical approach as an act of establishment of kalyana rajya so he was mainly for this uh, kalyana rajya which means the welfare state and he reached his peak of influence during the rule of king bijjala ii in karnataka so basveshwara exists in karnataka even today most of the people belong to the lingayat sect belong to this karnataka region only okay and another important thing is that basavanna spread social awareness through his poetry which is known as vachanas remember this word vachanas so through this his poetry basically is called vachanas okay and also basavanna rejected the gender and social discrimination because as i told already he was in for equal treatment of both men and women chalo now we'll move on to the next question The next question is about cyclone Thakate. Consider the following statements with respect to cyclone Thakate. First one, it is the first severe cyclone of 2021 formed over the Bay of Bengal. Second one, 
the word tokate has been suggested by india so here we have to choose the correct statement a one only b two only c both one and two d neither one nor two we have to choose the correct answer so here if you see the first statement it is the first severe cyclone of 2021 formed over bay of bengal if you have been following news there have been news that cyclone tokate is going to make landfall near gujarat near gujarat so gujarat mein landfall kar raha hai that means the cyclone is formed over arabian sea and not the bay of bengal sea so isliye the first statement will become wrong second statement the word tokate has tokate has been suggested by india this is also wrong because if you see the word tokate it is suggested by myanmar myanmar theek hai to isliye this statement is also wrong and d neither one nor two will become the correct answer now if you see some more information about this cyclone tokate this cyclone tokate recently indian meteorological department ne warn kiya hai ki this cyclone tokate is going to be a severe cyclone is going to be a severe cyclone and the government has alerted all the officials in the coastal regions of goa and gujarat theek hai so this cyclone is formed over the southeast arabian sea and this is going to cause extreme rainfall in the states of kerala lakshadweep tamil nadu in the ghats of tamil nadu and coastal karnataka the word tokate has been suggested by myanmar as we have discussed already and in myanmar tokate means gecko which is a lizard vocal lizard in the burmese language this cyclone scenario is changing very quickly and it's very uncertain we are seeing it in a very uncertain way due to the unusual warming of arabian sea normally kya hota hai ki most of the cyclones we find in bay of bengal bay of bengal even in cyclone chapter you might have studied that uh, you know uh, because of the excessive heating of the bay of bengal we see more cyclones in the bay of bengal only but in the last couple of years we are observing that the number of cyclones are increasing in the arabian sea as well kyunki yahan pe kya ho raha hai ki global warming ke wajah se the sea temperature is rising the sea temperature is rising and is rising and because of this increase in the sea temperature we are witnessing more number of cyclones even in the arabian sea isliye last year bhi humne dekha hai mumbai mein mumbai mein bahut rains hua hai or even in gujarat goa region as well theek hai and in the kerala region as well yeah the number of rains so now we'll move on to the next question the next question is about the dongria corn tribes consider the following statements with respect to the dongria corn tribes first statement it is one of the pvtgs pvtgs ka matlab hai the uh, the protective vulnerable tribal groups protected vulnerable tribal groups located in the niyamgiri hills in the state of kerala second statement though the dongria women are given equal status in the society they cannot possess property so here we have to choose the correct statement a one only b two only c both one and two and d neither one nor two we have to choose the correct answer so the first statement if you see it is one of the pvtgs this is absolutely right because this tribe dongaria khond is one of the protective vulnerable tribal group in the state of odisha which is located in niyamgiri hills so this is the right statement but if you see the second statement though the dongaria women are given equal status in the society they don't possess the property rights this is wrong statement because in the dongaria khond tribe women have equal equal rights in all aspects even in the property so this statement is wrong so ye one only is the right answer to ye question humne kyu pucha hai ki recently the first covid case among this tribe was found first covid case among the among this among this tribe was found theek hai to this this became a concern from the orissa government theek hai isliye this was a news now we will see some more information about this tribe so as i told already recently the first case of coronavirus was discovered and they the dongaria khond tribe they are the members of the khonds they are members of the khonds and they are located in the niyamgiri hills in the state of odisha and they practice horticulture and shifting cultivation so they are uh, primitive tribes and they still practice this they still practice this kind of shifting cultivation the dongaria has a nuclear monomagus and patrilineal setup so the people of niyamgiri use kulu language so this kulu language basically it is not written it but only spoken among the khond community the socio political governance and decision making body of the dongaria khond community is known as kutumba is known as kutumba and yahan pe kya hai ki women possess more rights 
women possess uh, all the property rights and all and women has very high respect in the whole society theek okay? hai so this is about the dongria contract aur ab 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 hum chalte hain agli question ki taraf and the next question is about the swami scheme swami scheme so consider the following statement with respect to swami investment so swami investment fund it is a alternative investment fund that provides last mile funding to the stressed affordable and middle income housing operator projects in the country second statement seb is entrusted by the government to manage this fund so if you see here the first statement it is an alternate investment fund that provides last mile funding to the stressed housing projects this statement is absolutely right theek okay? hai because swami means special window for affordable and mid mid income housing so this is mainly to ensure that the real estate the real estate sector will get the funding because corona ki wajah se and last year also even 2019 because of the slowdown in the economy the funds to the real estate sector have decreased and there are a lot of stalled projects in this real estate sector to isliye is project ko launch kiya gaya hai theek hai so this first statement is wrong so this statement is right sorry first statement is right or second statement hai sebi is entrusted by the government to manage this fund देखो सेबी जनरली द सिक्योरिटी एक्सचेंज बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया इट इज अ गवर्निंग बॉडी इट इज अ गवर्निंग बॉडी इट नवर्स इट नवर मैनेजेस द फंड इट इज नॉट दैट काइंड ऑफ अ बॉडी तो जस्ट बाय कॉमन सेंस वी कैन डायरेक्टली एलिमिनेट दिस स्टेटमेंट टू जस्ट बाय कॉमन सेंस वी कैन डायरेक्टली एलिमिनेट सो दिस सेकंड स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक अफेयर्स एंड अफेयर्स अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस दे आर इंटरेस्टेड विद द पावर टू मैनेज दिस फंड ठीक है तो द सेकंड स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग तो हियर ये वन ओनली इज द करेक्ट आंसर नाउ वी विल सी सम मोर इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दिस स्वामी स्कीम सो रिसेंटली क्या हुआ कि द फर्स्ट स्टॉल्ड प्रोजेक्ट अंडर स्पेशल विंडो फॉर एफोर्डेबल एंड मिड इनकम हाउसिंग फंड वाज कंप्लीटेड एंड द कीज वर हैंडेड ओवर टू द बायर्स वर्चुअली तो इसीलिए दिस वाज इन न्यूज़ द स्वामी इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड इट्स अ स्पेशल विंडो फॉर द रियल एस्टेट प्रोजेक्ट्स व्हिच आर स्टॉल्ड Okay, it's a twenty-five thousand crore fund. It's a twenty-five thousand crore fund, and uh, this is mainly to complete the stalled housing projects. It was started in two thousand nineteen. Two thousand nineteen, me, shuru kiya gaya hai, and Department of Economic Affairs administers this scheme. So, so, two thousand nineteen, why this scheme was launched? Kiya gaya hai ki because there are lot of uh, lot of the real estate projects that are stalled because of lack of funds. Agar real estate sector क्रैश किया गया है देन दिस रियल एस्टेट सेक्टर इज गोइंग टू इम्पैक्ट कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्कर्स ठीक है कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्कर्स पे इम्पैक्ट होगा एंड द कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्कर्स पे इम्पैक्ट हुआ हुआ दैट मींस द कंस्ट्रक्शन गॉट अफेक्टेड तो अगर कंस्ट्रक्शन अफेक्ट किया हो लाइक द कंस्ट्रक्शन वाज अफेक्टेड देन व्हाट हैपन व्हाट हैपन्स इज द स्टील सेक्टर गेट अफेक्टेड द ब्रिक्स सेक्टर गेट अफेक्टेड द सैंड सेक्टर गेट अफेक्टेड सो देयर इज अ there is a effect on all these sectors to isliye the construction sector is very much important for the economy isliye construction sector ko government bhi promote karta hai with various construction projects with various construction projects by investing more in the capital to isliye construction project country ke economy ke liye bahut important hai to isliye agar construction kahin pe ruk gaya hai to government will intervene by with some special funds so that the construction will keep on happening so that the economy will not fall and economy will carry on economy will continue theek hai तो इसीलिए दिस वाज इन यूज तो एसबीए कैप वेंचर लिमिटेड इज द इन्वेस्टमेंट मैनेजर ऑफ दिस फंड एसबीए कैप ठीक है एंड एसबीए कैप इज नॉट अ इज नॉट अ गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट एंटिटी इट्स इट्स अ प्राइवेटली ओन्ड वन ठीक है द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे रिपोर्ट टाइटल्ड माइग्रेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट ब्रीफ 2020 इज रिलीज्ड बाय व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन तो ये रिपोर्ट एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दिस इज वन ऑफ द फेवरेट एरिया ऑफ यूपीएस एंड एवरी ईयर मिनिमम ऑफ वन क्वेश्चन इज बीन आस्ट इन द पास्ट फ्यू इयर्स तो इसीलिए जस्ट फोकस ऑन दिस काइंड ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस ठीक है ये यूएनएफ ट्रिपल सी बी नीति आयोग सी वर्ल्ड बैंक एंड डी आई एम एफ हियर वी हैव टू चूज द करेक्ट आंसर एंड हियर द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी वर्ल्ड बैंक माइग्रेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट ट्रिप ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वॉज रिलीज बाय वर्ल्ड बैंक so this report is prepared by the migration remittances unit of the world bank it's a premier research and data arm of the world bank and this report is produced twice twice a year okay 
so this what is what this report talks about is this report talks about the migration and development of the countries so world mein migration kahan se kahan tak ho rahe and the amount of remittances that are being sent to the countries and all these things are calculated by this report so this report what it says is that india has received the highest amount of remittances in 2020 followed by china mexico philippines egypt pakistan france and bangladesh so india <coughs> sorry so india uh which is basically is high, the highest remittance receiving country yani bahar se foreign country se people who send money to india usko bolte hain remittances so india is the highest remittance receiver because india has large diaspora india has large diaspora and isliye india receives the highest remittances india has received the highest remittances in 2020 so second place pe hai china aur third place pe hai mexico theek hai to so yeah so this is the information about this migration migration and development bill okay so if you want the solution and the questions in the pdf format this will be posted in our telegram channel up our telegram channel channel pe join kijiye or you can find this over there okay and uh, yeah these are the and i just want to remind you about the initiatives that we have launched which i have told already the vision the vision prints test series का समरी विजन पीटी थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव का समरी ओके एंड ऑल्सो द विजन मंथली मैगजीन का समरी भी यू कैन फाइंड सो यू कैन फाइंड ऑल द डिटेल्स इन द टेलीग्राम चैनल सो डू जॉइन अर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप ठीक है तो चलिए फ्रेंड्स वील मीट अगेन टूमोरो दीज आर दाइव क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे थैंक यू जय हिंद